everyone welcome back to Pabli Connect. So in today's video we will learn how to create Brevo contact from Microsoft Excel. So now let's suppose that you manage the data of your leads in a Microsoft Excel file which you wish to import it to Brevo. So now here you want whenever a new row is added in your Microsoft Excel sheet then automatically with the same details you wish to create it as a contact in Brevo. So how we will be setting up this automation for that we will be using Pabli Connect where our trigger application will be Microsoft Excel and our action application will be Brevo. So to learn how we set up this automation follow me through the screen. In this video we will learn that how you can create Brevo contact from Microsoft Excel. So let's assume that you have lead information in your Microsoft Excel file which you want to automatically import to your Brevo account. So here, so here whenever a new lead will be added then automatically with the same details you wish to create them as a contact in Brevo. So to automate this entire process we will sign into a Pabli Connect account but if you are a new user you can click on the sign up for free button and at the time of account creation you will get 100 tasks for free so as an existing user I will click on sign in. Now this is the all applications page by Pabli Connect so we will go to Pabli Connect and click on access now to reach our dashboard. So this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect and to create a new workflow you need to click on this create workflow button on your right hand side. So as I did that now in this dialog box appearing I need to give my workflow a name and I have named it as create Brevo contact from Microsoft Excel and now I will click on create. So as I did that now I have arrived on a very important window which consists of trigger and action. Trigger and action are the two most important principles of Pabli Connect on which this entire automation will depend. So over here trigger says when this happens action says do this. So basically action is the response of your trigger application. So moving to trigger window as a use case suggests that is to create Brevo contact from Microsoft Excel. So over here in my trigger window as the trigger application I will be searching for Microsoft Excel over here. And here it is after selecting the trigger application moving to the trigger event that will be to add new row in a worksheet. So this trigger will start working whenever a new row will be added to the existing worksheet so I will select it. And now I need to establish a connection between Microsoft Excel and Pabli Connect so I will click on connect. And if you have an existing connection you can go with the same or you can simply click on this add new connection button and now click on connect with Microsoft Excel. So now as I did that I need to provide some permissions and as this is a secure connection so I will accept it and now you can see that the connection was successful. You can see connected over here that means Microsoft Excel and Pabli Connect is successfully connected with each other. Moving on to workbook and the worksheet part. So over here in my Microsoft Excel I have created this Excel sheet by the name of book 10. So over here in Pabli Connect I will click on this workbook drop down and now I will be selecting my spreadsheet that is by the name of book 10. So here it is. Now after I have selected the workbook you can see that the worksheet is automatically selected as sheet 1 because I only have one sheet in this excel sheet. So I will go back to Pabli Connect. So now as soon as I will click on the save and send test request button it will capture the response from the Microsoft excel sheet. So over here you can see that in the last row the details of this user is added. So that means over here in Pabli Connect the details of that user will be captured over here. So I will simply click on this. So over here in the response received you can see the first name of the user that was latest, last name was user and the email id that goes as latest user at the rate pablitudes.com. So you can see that the last row details are successfully captured over here in Pabli Connect. So this means that the first step of our automation is successfully done. So now onwards every time when new data will be added in our Microsoft Excel sheet the data will be captured automatically over here in every 8 hours because this trigger will check for new data in every 8 hours basically. This trigger will not be capturing the data in real time but it will capture in every 8 hours. So now when the data will be captured over here in Pabli Connect so you can send it in any application. So now moving further as a use case suggests that we need to create a Brevo contact. So now what I will do is in my action application I will be searching for Brevo. 
So over here it is Brevo and now moving on to the action event from the drop down I will be selecting the action event as to create or update contact. Now I need to build a connection between Brevo and Pably Connect for that I will click on connect and over here if you have an existing connection you can go with the same or you can simply add a new connection. So moving on to new connection you need to enter the domain and you need to enter the API key. So for that I will take you to my Brevo account and over here this URL is your domain name. So I will simply copy it, go back to Pably Connect and I will paste it over here. So now moving on to the API key where you will find this. For that we need to go to Brevo and over here we will click on this connect and we will go to SMTP and API. So after coming here we will go to API keys. And now we will generate a new API key. So over here you need to give your API key a name. So I have named it as key and now I will click on generate. So you can see that a new API key is generated successfully. So I will simply copy it and click on OK. Go back to Pably Connect and I will paste it over here. So as I did that I will click on save to establish a connection between Brevo and Pably Connect. So over here you can see that it is successfully connected. So now you can see that Brevo and Pably Connect are successfully connected. Now moving forward you can see that there are some fields that we need to fill in. So moving on to the email part over here you need to enter the email. So instead of entering this manually I will map it. So basically mapping is to insert the data from previous step. So as from a response received from Microsoft Excel. So from over here I will be mapping the email ID that is latest user at the rate pablitudes.com. So now moving on to some other details like email blacklisted. If you want to blacklist the contact for emails you, you can set it as true or you can either go with false. So I'm going with false right now. Same goes as with SMS blacklisted. I'm making it false. So now list. Where will I find this list? For that I will go to my Brevo account and over here I will click on contacts and in contacts you will find lists. So as I click on that you can see that these are some multiple lists that I have already created before. So if you wish to create a new list you can simply click on this create list button. As of now I will be going with this contact list which I have already created before. So now over here in list I will select it as contacts from this drop down and now moving ahead with other details. So over here we need to mention the last name first name. So what I will do is in the last name I will again map it from the response and going back to first name I will map it from the response. So I have successfully mapped the first name and last name. So why I have used mapping over here because whatever the details you will be adding in these fields like last name first name and the email these details will be automatically replaced whenever a new row will be added in your Microsoft Excel sheet. That means whenever a new data will be added in your Microsoft Excel sheet. So the old data will be replaced with the new data. So moving on with these details as we don't have these details in a use case. So I'm going ahead with this and over here I will simply click on save and send test request to see what the response will be. So now in the response received you can see that the ID is generated that means the contact is successfully created in Brevo. So I will take you to my Brevo account and over here in contacts I will go to lists and as I have selected contacts as my list so I will click on contacts and over here you can see that the lead of latest user goes by the first name latest and the last name as user is successfully added here in Brevo. So I will click on this and you can see that it is subscribed for email campaigns and over here you can see that this contact is created in the list. That means this integration between Microsoft Excel and Brevo is successful. Not just these applications, you can integrate a lot more applications with the help of Pably Connect. So if you have any doubts regarding Pably, reach us at support at and if you have any queries, you can visit us at forum.pably.com. If you have any pricing related query, you can visit this link. So if you like this video, please share it with your friends and colleagues and do not forget to like, share and subscribe our channel.